This is going to be a fairly short video. I want to show you how you can uh, determine if your fuel tank sending unit is working properly. And this will work on just about any type of a sending unit. Uh, this is a brand new one from um, Tanks Incorporated. And I'm putting it in that fuel tank you can see on the back of the chassis over there. This is a 66 Corvette. I've got a brand new tank. I'm putting a brand new sending unit. But once that's all assembled and the body is back on it, it's not going to be easy to pull this out if it turns out there's something wrong with it. So it's a good idea just to check it before I get started. And the way I'm going to do that is just with a simple little multimeter. I've got it set on the resistance on the ohm uh, setting. And basically I'll, I'll zero in on that in just a second you can see it. But basically what I'm going to do is just touch uh, my probes to the two wires here. And take a reading. Now this sending unit is supposed to operate between 0 and 90 ohms. That's what my uh, fuel gauge is set up to operate on, 0 to 90 ohms. So this is the upright position. So this would be how it's going to be in the tank. So if the fuel level is low, there's a little thing that slides up and down in there while it's at the bottom. So we should be at zero ohms approximately right there. So I'm going to, so I'm going to touch these wires on there. If I can get it to hold itself up. Okay. So we're reading 2.4 ohms. Now, when the fuel level is full, why gas will be all the way up to here. So if we just turn that upside down and get that little uh, float or whatever it is that they, uh, runs up and down there, make a measure at the full reading, and we should be around 90 ohms at this setting if it's working properly. And it reads 92 and a half ohms. I believe this is working just like it's supposed to. At the very bottom, it's reading two and a half ohms. But keep in mind, this doesn't actually rest on the bottom of the tank. There's a tiny bit of space there. So if this is reading two and a half ohms, then you know there's still a little bit of gas underneath it, which makes sense. And likewise, up at the top here, fuel level's never probably going to be 100% up to the top of this because that. Uh, fuel tank has a slight slope into it where this mounts. So if 90 ohms is just slightly underneath here, why that registers a, a full fuel tank. So I can put this in now with confidence that it's gonna work.